Oh yeah, what's up everybody? We are back here at the Paradox event in Arizona. This is the Chad and Cheese podcast. I'm your co-host, Joel Cheeseman. This is Chad Sowash. And today we are talking to Jessica Rush, Chief Talent Officer at Paradox. Thanks for having me. Welcome to the podcast. Glad to be here. So uh, a lot of our viewers don't know who you are. I know everyone here at this conference knows who you are. Uh, But give us a little Twitter bio about you. Sure. So I've been in the HR tech industry for almost 20 years, and I love this space. I spent most of the time that I've been here working for HR technology companies, uh, mainly in early days sales and marketing, and loved problem solving with clients about what was happening, innovating together, Mm -hmm. and then moved into the practitioner role here at Paradox, where I've been leading talent acquisition and talent development. What a perfect person to be in the role that you're in, having been at this company for well over 20 years. What's been the secret sauce that keeps you engaged? Yeah, I think it's a few things. One. In the industry, I think it's an interesting space. It's constantly changing. And I was just saying earlier today, we work with great people, both inside the space, practitioners, people love what Say they more. do. Say more. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Present company included, for sure. Um, and so, you know, I love that we are in a space that of people that are passionate about what we do. And I believe employment is something that changes, pe- like meaningful employment is something that changes people's people's lives and families and communities. So we get to change the world for the better in our own little way. Well, let's not talk about the world just yet. Let's talk about your world because you get a chance in this position working for a tech company to say, look, I want a better process. We want better people. We want better talent. We all know that that's what we're doing for our clients, but we have to eat our own dog food, right? Um, You're pretty much the person on the ground who leads people. I mean, you're, you're the first customer, right? So how, how often do you get involved in talking through product, brainstorming, those types of things? Yeah, well, first, our team likes to say we drink our own champagne now that we eat our own dog food, but... Um, I'm from Indiana. So fancy. <laughs> from so Indiana. Fancy. Yeah, we're, we're in Scottsdale, kids, so... <laughs> but yeah, you know, I think a few things. One, we've got... We're fortunate because we've got a team that's heavily invested in yeah. talent acquisition, right? And so that's unique as well, a they talent get it. leader. Yes, yeah. they get it, right? Yeah. And and people are aligned to the candidate experience and making it better. And so yeah. that shows up, I think, in the way that we recruit and in the experience we want to give to our our candidates. But yeah, you know, I've got every product team member's phone number. I <laughs> have them on Slack, and and so we've got, I think, a really great communication that happens both in terms of us giving feedback and asking for requests, which we do. And then also they're able to leverage us as users and testers and watch us work. So alpha beta kind of stuff. Yeah. So they give it to you to beat up before they release it to the world. (laughs) Or even float ideas sometimes. So how excited are you when they, when Aaron or, 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 any of the product team starts talking about going down the funnel because start off as a chat bot. I mean, it, it, we chat bot started to conversational AI and then started going down funnel to ATS. Um, how exciting was that for you? Because you got to use your own product moving down the funnel. So, I mean, we've always used our product really to do all the things. Okay. Um, okay. So we were really the first client to be using Paradox and Olivia for really the full hiring process. So what's exciting for us is now we're, we get to ride some coattails a bit on some of our larger clients that are excited about some big features that will be really meaningful for us. Is there a bridge between I'm using the conversational tool and I, I feel like that experience carries over into my first day at Paradox? Is it video, for example, I think would be a powerful tool, but what else? And, and you've also named uh, your chat bot or conversational AI, does that help with the transition into the culture in the company? I think it sets an expectation for what it will be like at our company in terms of being forward thinking, in terms of the technology that we use, um, and just being sensitive to the experience as well. Okay. You know, if, if we had Paradox and Olivia at the front of our hiring process, and then they came in and we were using all old tech for- Yeah, it would for kind our inter- of be a mismatch, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. You make sure that, that that's a connection that people make right. in the process. So as an HR professional, 
most HR professionals today are they're they're either getting shamed for not using AI or they're being scolded for using AI, right? One of the two, right? But you're on the inside. Uh, and there's a lot of worries, a lot of apprehension out there. What if it's making decisions that are bad and then the U.S. government comes down on us? Um, what are your thoughts being inside, being a professional in this space and then also knowing what the tech is doing and being that close to it? So what, what are your thoughts about that? And what would you say to other HR professionals that are out there? Don't worry, be worried, more due diligence. I think it's important to be educated um, but I think the same rules apply, yeah. essentially, right? The same concerns we should have about how we prepare and train our team and how we put structure in place in the hiring process is the same thing we should be thinking about when we use any types of technology. You know, there's a saying that our information security team uh, uses, which I love, which is that brakes make the car go faster. Um, you know, because there are some, it's good to have some guardrails, right? You, and that enables you to move at a faster speed. And so that's how we think about it. You know, we want to, in the same way I was talking about before, think about how and when we use technology and how and when we use people. We want to use technology to speed up parts of the process and we want to use our team in the decision-making process. That's our point of view.